the National Football League on EA Sports. And this one features Tank Dale. Big plays follow him around. He comes in second in the NFL in receiving yards. It's the Wizards and the Titans on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the banks of the Ohio River and the world-renowned city of Louisville, Kentucky. It is Week 16 in the NFL, and we've got a good in store as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Wizards of Louisville. Hi again, everybody. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, joining you as always. And Charles, you check out this Louisville team. It's late in the year. We all know it. We've seen the calendar for these guys. Their bodies could probably use a break, but they have to push on. And they're really not as worried about that as maybe we think. They know they've got the entire offseason to rest. All they care about is the game in front of them and finishing strong. Meanwhile, for the visiting Titans, they come in playing some decent football, five and three in their last eight games. Wolf man do it. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Here we are. For the episode of Louisville Wizards Cupcake Relocation Franchise. If you missed any other episodes, they on the channel on the playlist. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. So out comes the offense now with a long field ahead of him. They'll be let out by the former Texas Christian University Horn Frog, Andy Dalton. Every time he leads his team out, there's no questioning. He's put the work in to earn his place in the NFL. There's no shortage of stories we've heard throughout his career about the effort he puts in to be in this spot. And that motivates everybody on his team. Play action here with Dalton. Escaping the pressure. And he's sacked. He eat this one as down he goes. So he's sacked. The time is cold. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. But not what you want to see this late in the season. Medical staff is going to check on him. And we'll step aside for a moment. Here's Dalton. He's got this one to Hutchinson. Xavier Hutchinson with a great catch there. And a good job getting the first down and more. That was all about the yak, ladies and gentlemen. Rack. Oh, the, yeah, the yak, the yards after the catch. One that they want to fix immediately. Now Dalton with a first and ten. And, and Dalton tried. He should have threw it away. That's Aziz Al Shair getting through for the sack that time. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and twenty-three. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. That's complete to Hutchinson. So Xavier Hutchinson again. Another great catch. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. And that's a great call, call there. For the fullback to get in there. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Third and inches just turn around, hand it to the big guy, and let him plow forward and pick up a first down. A lot of people think that the offensive line, they may almost take the play off because they got a big guy back there pushing forward. I think it actually works in reverse. I think they block harder because they love seeing that guy get the ball because he doesn't touch it very often. You talk about this Titan defense. Now they're going to be tough to throw on, no doubt. Currently ranked third in the NFL against the pass. They may be ranked third against the pass in the league, but they're the best that I've seen so far. Now he's hit, and Dalton lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it, able to retain possession. That was big for them. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. They do get 18, but even that won't be quite enough. It's fourth down. We don't tell any defensive we're going for it. We're going for it, folks. Win for both teams because fourth and two, we're going for it. Force the fourth down, but offensively, they picked up enough yards to get their kicker a better shot if that's what they want to do. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. 
That's another blowable first down. Here's Dalton. Oh, oh no. Accepted. A drive killer there. Picked by Kevin Byer. And the Titans are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight yard line. Well, it's no secret he's had trouble this year with interceptions, and this is a bad start for him. First drive, throwing another pick. No matter who's broadcasting his game, that's how the conversation begins. Throwing too many interceptions. Can he take care of the football? Second and nine. Here's Stroud. Down goes Stroud. They get him back at his own three yard line. That ends the first quarter. We're scoreless after one. Right, here we go. Second quarter now. Titans in possession of the football. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Stroud backed up near his goal line. And there's a and they're going to have to. Hang on now. We're gonna Elijah Hicks is down. An injured player. Always unfortunate to see an injury. Especially they're going to have to punt it here on the Titans. Season. We'll step aside. Here we go. The punt team on now is from their end zone. They get it away. Returnable here from the 38. Following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. But not what you want to see this late in the season. Medical staff is going to check on him, and we'll step aside for a moment. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. One interception. It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Here now, second and four. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. They'll run with Boone here. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Brings up third down. Again, they're going to go with Boone. And he's got the first down. So Boone gets the first down. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. And now to the air, Dalton. Incomplete. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Intended for Tank Dell. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make a ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. What a catch by Hutchinson. He's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 31 yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one, it earns him a fresh shot of downs. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. Here's Hogan Bawale. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. A run with Hogan Bawale. Another great run. First down. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And that's a two-minute warning. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Dalton sets up play action. And the Wizards post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Dante Farley, oh, watch him stretch out here, folks. They're going right up against the side of the end zone, but able to get the feet in bounds. There's so many things that go into that catch, and you just mentioned the concentration, being able to catch the football, get your feet down in bounds, hang on to it all the way through the process of the catch. That was a phenomenal play. Extra point by Fairbairn up 
and good. Man, that makes the score seven nothing. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Incomplete. He tried, but it was incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he it just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Second and ten, ground to throw yet again here. Finds Kamet on the quick slam. They'll get to the line. Remember, it's also third down. It's ground now to throw. And he caught his man. Taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First down now with that clock rolling. Stroud. Go to the right here and finding Burks. And he's got this down to the 35. And they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and 10. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. And they are going to have a first down, and they're in field goal range as well as they're down inside the 20. First down, Tennessee. Stroud out of the gun here. Right side, Claypool's got it. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. Incomplete. He's left with no option here but to throw it away. I'm going to like him what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep him out of the end zone. As he caught it. Touchdown, Titans. Titans touchdown. KJ Osborne. As the first half is winding down, and the Titans have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. And the Titans do it. Down the middle. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide it could to take shot. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted. But it winds up falling incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield. Ogan Valare just could and not get anything four going here. It's left in this first half, a timeout call. And they will take a knee here. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. Really? So with fourth down coming up, they okay, go You know what? Screw that. You want to play this we'll game? We'll play it. And likely time for one final play here in the half. So they will go for it on fourth down. He's got his target. That's complete. And they nearly get this on the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. All right, we, we are not past the halftime show in favor of returning to this late season game with the teams coming back from the locker rooms here a bit early. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. Out come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. 
Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter. Well, the Titans have a great team, folks. No, no uh, question about it. The great team for the Titans is uh, being hard to try to get or try to stop the pass as well as... As Stroud has been pretty much... They pretty much have not uh, done Derrick Henry in this, and I'm really in shock. First down, here's Stroud. He gets it to Burks again. Yeah, he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. There it is to Henry. And Henry gets stopped. Not nothing. No. He was denied. Time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. So third and two. This quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. They give it again to Henry. Henry is going to get great push by the offensive line. Great push. It's a big up of six and good enough to move the chains. They'll try the right side with Henry. They are able to get this to the 31. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Stroud looking to throw. Stroud goes down in a huff. And nothing doing. So they're going to cut cat the kick a field goal here, folks. So now the Titans are going to call upon their field goal unit here. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. And his kick here is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. Well, they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep so 10-7, right? Titans, field, the buck 22 left, third quarter. And hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Dalton up play action. Great catch by Hutchinson. Looks like he's got it. Able to get to it right away, but still down to the 44-yard line with a catch. First down. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. They run it. It's Ogan Bawale. Powers through. Down inside the 40. I feel like I can see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. At the Titans, 39 yard line. They go 3 368. They go again with Ogan Bawale. And they will only muster a yard here at the 38. So that ends the third quarter. Titans up 10 7. Extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. Third down, trying to get a little bit closer. From here, the field goal would be 55 yards. It could be. Trying to get their tight end involved finally. That's the first time that they've looked his way. He's kind of been a forgotten man in this offensive scheme. Yeah, it didn't look his way at all in the first half, but I'll bet you Dolphins could have made a note at the half. Kaimi Fairbairn is no good on the field goal. The fourth quarter miss like that, there is no lonelier feeling than that kicker right now. As we all know, a lot of these games, they come down to special teams. And when that chance comes, you have to perform in order to help your team get over the top. Could have tied it. Instead, they remain down three. 
Stroud to the air on first and ten. Incomplete. Spellman was there. He has percentage completion wise way up. Not that time. On second down, it's Stroud. Look up on the right side to Hopkins. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They give it to Henry. Henry gets the first down. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. First down, Tennessee. They give it again to Henry. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. So Henry's trying to get back, trying to get Henry in on this. Best game over. I wonder what the mindset is of this team. Do they want him to handle the football and try to close this game now? Or are they going to make it alternative play? They hand it again to Henry. So Henry is stopped. Only a gain of a yard here. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the So what do the Titans do here? Objective there. I mean, yes, the positive game, that's nice, but work some fun. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Ah, no! He's got a man complete, and he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a game of 10. First down, Titans. Three-minute warning. Separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Ready, go. Now they'll fake the jet sweep and run up the middle with Henry. Down he goes at the ten with a solid pickup of eight. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And running room really hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who's the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. Maybe flashback to high school or college. Barry. And, and down goes. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. And kick his is kick up, but it's good. good. 26 seconds remaining. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Uh, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. Dalton and the offense now, down 13-7, 26 seconds to go. Now they've got to travel to full 75 yards, and time is obviously a huge factor here. First and 10. Oh, man, complete intended for Dell. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage and some. They like to go for the big shot. No fear of risking a deep ball there, but it wasn't enough to get them the completion. Now don't. Seconds remaining on the floor. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and ten. Here's Dalton. No! Oh. And that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And the Titans have just about sewn up this football game. Well, you need well to folks, there you have it. With the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it. And that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the I two thought, drill. They're, I they're thought, thought he would come back for it. I thought he would. Plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do. That's on me, folks. They want to be Should have waited. To make a play on the ball, and that they there you have it, folks. 
the Titans well, this is one of those games when it, you win it it feels extra special but to lose a close one like this Charles remember where they didn't score any points in the second half that has to sting a bit more absolutely and I really think that they're going to spend so much time pouring over this game film trying to figure out where their calls went wrong how they didn't execute on certain plays they were so close yeah this one's going to linger for a little while as they try and diagnose this loss so for Tennessee, it's a critical win for them as it gets them to 9-6 and six on the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Louisville, they fall under 500 now as they drop to 7-8. and eight. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against the Chicago Bears. So you have it, folks. That was a heartbreaker. Had a chance to come back. Probably could have come back. I should not have threw that. That should not have been thrown. That should not have been thrown. That should not have been thrown, folks. But we'll take a look real quick before we end episode of the standings and where we stand. Coming in at seven and eight, a two uh, at seven and eight, not bad. Could finish the season at uh, nine and eight, which really isn't bad. This team in its second year doing better than I thought they would. If you're new, scratch the call marks at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Come in with a Wolfpack fam today. Sniff and bind into that bell icon. Become part of the location squad. You're not going to put a like to the video. It's much appreciated. Oh, we stay hungry. Hungry like the wolf. I am out.